Taylor Swift is not the only one re-recording fairly recent albums. Now Brandy Carlisle has done it, although with very different reasons than the ones that prompted Swift to revisit her catalog. Carlisle has gone back into the studio to radio last year's In These Silent Days in its entirety, in a new, acoustic-focused version that's been titled In the Canyon Haze. The newly recorded album will be out September 28th and is preceded today by You and Me on the Rock, In the Canyon Haze, a Rayma. Carlisle said that the project came about when she was looking at putting out a deluxe edition of Silent Days for the album's upcoming anniversary, with bonus tracks, but settled on a way to make the entire album a bonus. The Canyon part alludes to how the artist thinks the redo aims for a vintage Laurel Canyon spirit in the reconfigured arrangements. The new album follows the running order of the original album exactly, with the exception of an acoustic cover of David Bowie's Space Oddity, which she often performs in concert, tagged on to the end. I knew I wanted to offer our fans more than just the usual bonus track that always feels like. So, the twins, Phil and Tim Hanseroff, and I locked ourselves in the attic studio in my barn just like the old days. And we reimagined our entire record, citing the Joni jams she's taken part in at her famous friend's home in the Santa Barbara area, Carlisle said she conjured up imagery from death. I could smell the marijuana and the incense. I could hear the CSN harmonies traveling through the canyon from Lookout Mountain and the accompanying laughter of Mama Cass. I could hear the reverb of aged wood and the dull simmer being strummed like a drum. The familiar chord progressions, confessions and communal spirit that would birth timeless songs. Songs we all wish we had written. I could feel the liberation, the friction and freedom from modern-day digital distractions that laid such fertile ground at the feet of West Coast poets and troubadours. While the digital and CD versions will be released September 28, a multicolor double LP vinyl version will wait until November 25th at WH. The vinyl will become more widely available the following Friday, December 2nd. Pre-order details can be found here. Carlisle continues to tour behind the original In These Silent Days album, with her next dates being sold out stops at Colorado's Red Rocks Amphitheater September 9th to 10th, 